I think we're the same. How? I've been in the sun a lot, though. <laughs> I live in the sun. You're my sunshine. My only sunshine. You get the one in there. Guys, if you're from Delta State and you sing this song so perfectly, please feel free to leave the lyrics to the song right in my comment section or over there on Instagram. Hello guys and welcome back again to my YouTube channel. It's your girl Faith Martins. Guys, so much has been going on in the entertainment industry in Nigeria. And the one which is prevalent is divorce, separation, calling off, and all of those sorts. What is really happening in Nigerian marriages? Or should we just say marriages all over? I was going up on the internet and I've been wondering. The recent one is the one from um, Fancy Akolono and Alex Ekubo. If you do not know this too, Fancy Akolono is a US-based model and Alex Ekubo is a Nigerian actor. Alex Ekubo has been in the acting scene for over a, a decade at the moment and they recently got engaged sometime last year, announced their marriage for November 2021. So every finger has been crossed, plans are in check, rumor says he spent so much money planning this wedding. And just a few hours ago, it's been announced that Fancy Akolono has allegedly called off the engagement. What could be, what could that thing be? What could he have done to make her call off the engagement? Well, this question will be answered by Nigerians on the street. But right now, we're going to be talking about things instigating divorce in Nigeria. First off, just a few weeks ago, we heard about Paul Okoye, if I'm right, and his wife, Anita Okoye, whose marriage has allegedly split, heading towards divorce, and she's request, currently requesting $15,000 for children's upkeep, or should we call it child support? And right now, we are talking about Fancy Akolono and Alex Ekubo's marriage. What could have triggered these women to live in their so-called happy goals, marriage goals, wedding goals, couple goals, marriage? Well, I saw a, a comment on the internet and this says take your relationship far away from social media but they would not hear do we believe because people put up their happy moments also i'm personally not someone that pushes an agenda for um stay off social media because one thing i know is when i'm so happy in a situation or when i'm in love with somebody or when something makes me so happy the first thing i do is to take off that happiness from social media but with time i'll bring it up on social media this is a gospel truth so saying they should take their relationship far away from social media i personally do not think taking your marriages off social media is what's causing divorce amongst couples let's take for instance funke akindele bello who is married to jjc skills they are both in the entertainment industry and they are both intentional about making your marriage their marriage work then well these ones they are really really very new steve hum steven thompson and um the sandra Iheowa. They recently got married and they're all up on social media. Let's say, for instance, the popular Obi Kubana and Ebere Kubana, that's his wife, Lush Ebi. They are both on social media trying to make their marriages work. I think one of the things that we neglect in this generation is where we see the signs. We always give ourselves, how do I put it? We always give excuses to every sign we see until there's a big error. I think it's high time people come together to understand that. This institution called marriage is something we should not put ourselves under pressure for. I do not, I do not think Fancy Akolono is under pressure to get married. No, I think Alex Ekubo is more under pressure because of the rumors that he's allegedly Uncle Gabriel, and everybody's trying. He might be trying to debunk that rumor that he's not an Uncle Gabriel. If you know what I mean, then by getting married or something in that light. Well, guys, whatever you think, please leave it in the comment section. Let us have an interaction over to what happened a few days ago. Guys, it has gone beyond I'm in my house. Come and beat me. Now they are coming to your house to beat you. You guys know this popular, I don't know what I'll call him. He goes by the name 
Uche Maduago. Uche Maduago came on his Instagram the other day talking about how expensive another actor who goes by the name Jim Ike lives his life. This is somebody else's life. He talked about how Jim Ike is driving an exotic car where he gets the money to buy designer dresses. He also stated that Jim Ike no longer wears designers made or designers that are sold in Nigeria. He ships his own designers from Obodoibo. So he did this and he thought that was it. He thought that was the end because you know, Jamaica was preparing for his movie premiere, which is bad comment, which is already in the cinemas. You can go watch it. Yes, free advert for Jamaica. So Uche Madwagu did this and kept mum. Little did he know that Jamaica had spies looking out on him to know where he would be at a particular time. Surprisingly, Jamaica hit him up in his house unexpectedly. Guys, the rest is history. I'm going to leave a video right on the screen for you guys to see the drama that happened. Should I say, Jimai could have even had mercy on him because he's a man woman. He's, he's the one advocating for red bra for women in Nigeria. Jimai, why you didn't need to have a fellow woman? <laughs> I, I was calling Uche Madagu a woman, but guys... This and many more has been going on in Nigeria. I do, I do not support domestic violence. I do not support violence of any kind. But before you open your big mouth to talk about anybody on social media, you should know that Google Map, your phone, anybody is traceable. IP address, every single person is traceable. Who I've had fun talking to you guys this morning. I will be on the streets some hours after now to hear what Nigerians have to talk about on the current divorce menace currently going on in Nigeria. Guys, if today is your very first time seeing my beautiful face on YouTube, you are absolutely welcome. Please do all by clicking on the subscribe button below. Here, subscribe button below. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, like and share this video. I do hope to see you guys in my next video. I live in the sun. In my sunshine. My only sunshine. Yeah, the one in yeah, LA. The one in LA is what? Yeah. The one that hits you in LA is what? Look at me. The sun that hits you in LA is one of the sun. Fake shine.